I think Alphabet, aka Google, is an underrated AI stock. Yes, I know it is a multi-trillion dollar, but I'm gonna tell you exactly why in the next five minutes. Let's begin. First, let's understand Alphabet's business. So Alphabet is the umbrella over Google Search, YouTube, Android, Chrome, and Google Cloud. All of them spew data, and Alphabet's specialty is turning that data into cash with ads. Now, classic search ads still pay most of the bills, but today, ads are targeted, priced, and sometimes even written by AI. Those same models help YouTube recommend the next binge-worthy clip, route cars in Google Map, and finish your sentences in Gmail. And beneath all this is hardware created by Google. Their TPUs, tensor processing units, that shoot trillions of parameters while costing less than off-the-shelf GPUs. In short, Alphabet makes money every time its AI shortens a task or sharpens an ad. Now let's talk about performance. Since its 2004 IPO, the stock has returned roughly thousands and thousands of percentage to investors. Yet 2025 has felt sleepy. Unfortunately, the stock is down about 8% year to date. While flashier AI names rocket higher, share trade near the high teens forward earnings ratio and barely above the S&P 500 and miles below Microsoft or Amazon. Market cap about $2 trillion and climbing. In quarter one of 2025, Alphabet reported about $80 billion in revenue, 16% year-over-year growth, which is pretty amazing, and $23 billion in operating profits, while management is flagging exceptional strong demand for AI infrastructure on Google Cloud. Even ad sales, feared dead after privacy changes, grew 12% thanks to AI-driven targeting moves. The takeaway, fundamentals are humming and valuation is still pretty, pretty low. Now, I wanna talk about these three bull cases that I have for AI. First is AI enhanced search mode. AI overviews answers complex questions inside Google, then surround the answer with shoppable products, carousels, and sponsored links. If Alphabet nails the user experience, it creates new real estate instead of cannibalizing ads. Second is the growth of cloud thanks to AI. Training large language models and running inference is capital intensive, and Google owns cheap, fast TPUs. By bundling those chips with Gemini APIs and Vertex AI at aggressive prices, Google Cloud is winning a lot of AI clients and grabbing a rising double-digit share of a cloud pie that is still growing over 20% annually. Finally is compounding data advantage. Search queries, mount routes, Android tabs, YouTube watch time. Few companies enjoy such real-time multi-model data. Feeding that back into models like Gemini make them smarter, which attract more usage, which creates more data and a crazy, crazy loop competitors can't easily clone. Now, obviously, there's the bearish side of AI. This amazing, amazing tech could end up hurting the golden goose for Alphabet aka ad and search. If an AI summary answers your question so well, you skip the sponsor link, ad revenue per queries might fall. Regulators are also also hunting. US and European Union antitrust suit targets Google search and ad dominance, and publishers argue AI overuse steal their content. Meanwhile, competition is vicious. Microsoft OpenAI in chat Meta's open source Llama models and AWS's AI stack, and more importantly, Apple plotting on device assistance. Execution risk lurks as well. Remember BARD, which was the previous Gemini and how horrible that ended up being? Now, there is a lot, a lot of risk, and Google must move fast and carefully. To recap, Alphabet prints money from ads and cloud, both now turbocharged by homegrown AI. My three strongest bullish points are its defensible AI search mode, the TPU-powered cl cloud land grab, and the self-reinforcing data flywheel. The critical counterpoint is that AI answers might cannibalize ad clicks or trigger regulatory shackles before new monetizations fully ramp. Given that mix, I still see Alphabet as an underrated AI stock because investors value it like a mature ad agency not a vertically integrated AI platform. Personally, I'm looking for mid-teen earning growth plus a little multiple expansion over the next five years. Solid returns without betting the farm on some maybe AI place. So there you have it. That's why I believe Alphabet is an underrated AI stock. Now, what do you think? Tell me why I'm right or wrong in the comments and don't forget to like and subscribe. 
Go to fool.com slash invest to receive the top 10 best stocks to buy now.